everyone in this video we are going to look at the equations of motion for the freely falling bodies so let's get started now we have discussed a lot about freely falling bodies right we have seen in the previous video that whenever a ball or an object is dropped from a certain height it falls down and this is because of the gravitational pull or gravitational force that the earth earth exerts onto this object now we have also seen in the previous video that is that was for acceleration due to gravity that this ball is uh, is accelerating towards the earth with a particular acceleration which we call the acceleration due to gravity g and whose value we have found out to be 9.8 meter per second square so this ball has a constant acceleration throughout its motion to the uh, towards the ground so since the body is accelerating with a constant acceleration the motion that the body is undergoing here in this case is said to be uniformly accelerated motion so we can conclude that a freely falling body or a free fall is equivalent to an a, a motion which is uniformly accelerated motion or we can say that a freely falling body is actually undergoing a uniformly accelerated motion in the vertically downward direction or upward direction okay so here we see that this is a uniformly accelerated motion this was our conclusion now we have a set of equations of motion which we, which we have specifically derived for such a kind of motion which is uniformly accelerated motion so those three equations we can make use of those three equations here in this case also since this is also a uniformly accelerated motion so the newton's three equations of motion for a uniformly accelerated motion are valid for a freely falling body so this makes a problem simple we don't have to derive separate equations for this kind of motion but the equations that we already have we can uh, very well make use of those equations but there will be some small modifications in the symbols of the uh, quantities physical quantities that are there in the equation so let us see what will be the change the acceleration is denoted by a in those equations which we will be replacing by g here since the acceleration is only because of the force of gravity and that is the acceleration due to gravity which has a specific value other thing that we need to another thing that we need to replace is the uh, symbol for displacement which is s in those expressions but here we don't have displacement as such we have we don't have horizontal displacement as such we have a vertical distance or vertical displacement here in this case which is denoted by a certain height so we'll be taking that vertical displacement as h so here we will be replacing uh, a by g and s by h in all those three equations of motion so let us do that so the first equation of motion that we have is v equals u plus at where v is the final velocity of the body u is the initial velocity of the body a is the acceleration of the body and t is the time taken by the body the second equation of motion is this which is s equals ut plus half at square where s is the displacement u is the initial velocity t is the time taken and acceleration and time which is a and t the third equation of motion is 2as equals v square minus u square so these are the three equations of motion which uh, about which we have already discussed a lot and we have solved so many numerical problems based on these equations now it's turn for us to convert these equations to make it handy for us when we are dealing with freely falling bodies so for doing that we'll simply replace s and a by their respective symbols in case of freely falling body so on doing that we have the first equation of motion as we will simply replace a by g in this expression so we have the first equation of motion for, for freely falling bodies as v equals u plus gt since acceleration is g here which is due to gravity the second equation of motion becomes h equals ut plus half gt squared since we have replaced s by h and a by g the third equation of motion 
gets converted to 2gh equals v squared minus u squared. So here we have simply replaced a by g and s by h again. So these are the three equations of motion or this is a set of equations of motion which is good for us to use for freely falling bodies or these are the equations that we are going to use or these are the equations that we are going to make use of whenever we are going to solve the numerical problems here in this chapter which are based on freely falling bodies. So these, this is the set that we require. But we need uh, some more things to know. We need to know some more things if we want to solve the numerical problems in a proper way. So let us see what are those things. The first thing is the sign convention for G, which means that we need to know that in which case the G value is taken to be positive and in which case it's, it's taken to be negative. So let us see how it is, how it varies. Now let's take the downward motion of a body like this. So in this kind of motion, what happens is the, the direction of velocity is in the downward direction and the acceleration due to gravity is always in the downward direction, which is this. So in this case where the velocity of the body or the motion of the body is uh, in the same direction as that of the acceleration due to gravity, we take the acceleration due to gravity to be positive. So G is positive in this case where V and G are in the same direction. On, on the other hand, if we consider the upward motion of a body, that is for, uh, in, a, in the case where we throw a ball upwards. So what happens there? The velocity is in the upward direction, but the G here, which is the acceleration due to gravity is in the downward direction, which is pointing towards the downward direction. So in this case, since the velocity and the uh, acceleration due to gravity are in opposite directions to each other, we, we will take the value of g to be minus g. The acceleration we will take to be, take it to be minus g in this case, that is in the case of upward motion. So g is taken as positive if it's, uh, if it's in the direction of the velocity, that is well, when the body is falling downwards and G is taken to be negative if it is in the direction opposite to the velocity that is when the body is thrown upwards. Now this is the sign convention that we are going to use in the numerical problems that we will be solving in this chapter. So you can use any sign convention which is uh, meaningful to you but this is what we are going to use in this chapter. Now, there, is some other, there are some other things which we need to know before going to handle the numerical problems in this chapter. So the first thing is that when a body is dropped from a certain height. Now so let's, let's suppose I drop a ball from this height. I drop a ball, simply drop a ball. I am not giving out or I am not applying any force onto the ball. I am simply leaving it from my hand. So, the initial velocity of the ball is zero. So whenever uh, an object falls down from a certain height, at, the, at its initial point, it has no velocity at all, but it gains its velocity as it goes downwards because of the force of gravity. So here, the initial velocity u is zero whenever a body is dropped from a certain height or a body moves downward. Now in the other case, which is when the body is thrown upwards, now when I, I, when I throw a body upwards, I apply a force already. I apply a force for it to uh, move upwards. So when I apply this force, I am also imparting some velocity to the body, which means that the initial velocity of the body will not be zero when I am throwing it upwards. But it will go on reducing and finally it becomes zero. So its final velocity becomes zero at the maximum height that it reaches. And then it starts falling down which regains its velocity and that will be equivalent to this motion which is uh, in the downward direction. So these are the two things which we need to keep in mind that is when a body is dropped from a certain height its initial velocity is zero and when a body is thrown vertically upwards its final velocity is zero. The third thing which is uh, a very important thing that we need to know is that 
the time taken by a body to rise to the highest point is equal to the time it takes to fall from the same height which means that when I throw a ball upwards and then it reaches a certain point the maximum height and then it falls down backwards to the earth back to the earth now the third point says that the time this ball takes to reach the maximum height from my hand or from the earth is exactly equal to the time it takes uh, starting from the final point or the maximum height to move downwards. So it basically means that the time it takes for the upward motion to reach the maximum height is exactly equal to the time that it takes for the downward, uh, re uh, for the downward motion at the same height for, for the same height that is mean uh, that is said by the third point here which is the time taken by the body to rise to the highest point is e exactly equal to the time taken by the body to fall back to the earth so with this we have come to the end of this video and in this video we have learned about the sign conventions of g and also a few necessities that we need to solve the numerical problems in this chapter so I hope this video was helpful to you and also meaningful to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.